This is the final video in our three part series on internet structure. Here we discuss packet and circuit switching. Circuit switching provides the basis for traditional telephone networks. Circuit switching creates a temporary and dedicated link of fixed bandwidth between the source and destination that only lasts until the transmission is complete. Using this method guarantees the quality of the transmission through dedicated bandwidth, making circuit switching excellent for data that needs a constant link end to end, such as real time video. The downside, though, is that a lot of the potential bandwidth can be wasted. Packet switching, which is much more common, breaks streams of data into smaller blocks, each sent independently of one another. At each node, packets are sent via whichever route the node decides is the least congested, and this maximises bandwidth, but doesn't guarantee the quality of the transmission. It also means that packets can take different routes to the destination and therefore arrive out of order. Packet switching is more affordable and efficient than circuit switching, as all bandwidth can be used at once. It also requires less complex infrastructure and can easily respond if certain nodes on the network fail. So here's a little summary. Circuit switching, physical path between source and destination. All packets use the same path and it reserves the bandwidth in advance. It can cause a lot of bandwidth wastage and there's no store and forward transmission. With packet switching, there is no one physical path as the packets travel independently. It does not reserve bandwidth and therefore there's very little bandwidth wastage and it supports the store and forward of transmissions. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the difference between circuit and packet switching?